Yo guys, welcome back and today I'm going to be talking about MW3 or COD 2023's campaign and what might happen and who I think will might return. If you enjoy, please like and subscribe and yeah, let's get into it. So if you didn't already know, um, MW2 ends with a cutscene that teases no Russian. Now I'm going to assume you've already seen it, but I will put a link to a video showing the cutscene in full. Now, I think a no-Russian type mission will happen, but I think it'll happen on the plane this time, instead of the airport, like it did in the original trilogy. I've already made a video about who I think the mystery person in this um, little cutscene is. I personally think it's Joseph Allen. Um, I actually still do, but to people who haven't seen the video, um, but I will put it in the iCards, basically, Allen was involved in the original no-Russian, and... Um, but it was under a different name, Alexei Borodin, like his Russian name. Although, <laughs> right, something I actually forgot to mention in that video. And um, so the Alex link. Now, this comes from Ink Slasher, who I'm guessing if you watch this type of content, you probably know who he is. He has a semen and sort of hard on for saying every mystery character was Alex before he was confirmed to come back. I don't know whether he was going for like a sort of I'll be right eventually sort of mindset or anything. Like no hate towards him, just that's just me. So I think this will lead to a war. Now we now I don't know how exactly everyone will be involved, but I think it will lead to a three way battle between Task Force One Four One and Los Vakiros, Makarov's Ultra Nationalists and Al Qatala, although this might break away into like a sort of fourth faction, I guess, and the Shadow Company. In the Ashikara Island law, it is mentioned uh, that Shadow Company took control of the island from the Connie group, who are ultra-nationalist controlled, which explains that aspect, and also obviously they're against Task Force 1 for 1 and Las Vaqueros because of the campaign. So, I think what will end up happening is that something similar to the OG MW2, where Price, Soap and Makarov kind of join forces to take out Shepard and then go back to fighting each other. Or, well, or whoever becomes leader of a Shadow Company. After this, I think they'll end up fighting once again, which will lead to a Task Force 1 for 1 and Lost for Chaos victory, because, well, let's be honest, um, it's hardly like uh, Makarov is going to win this. Um, yeah, uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and comment down below um, anything I should talk about next week, and yeah, bye.